All right, hello, welcome back for part two of my coloring book collection. If you haven't watched the first one, go check it out over here. I'm just going to jump straight into it. So, we are doing Kirby Roussance. This is Imagimorphia. I'm, I guess everyone has seen this book. Um, I have colored this one. It was uh, Polychromos. Oh, I think there's nothing in between here. This one. So really, uh, this is the old one. You can tell on the um, the gold hair that I've since learned how to do better. This one also polychromos from twenty seventeen. And this one. I don't think I've colored in this since. Oh, 2020, actually. This is the newest one. All right. There's not any particular order, by the way. Just having the file here. Fragile World. And I have only done one in here, and that is the bat. It's really dark on the camera. Okay, that's more like it. So, super cute bat eating some berries. This is done with Prismacolor. And I really need to color more. Well, that's... That's on all the Kirby Rosanis books. Phantomorphia, and this is the original, I think. Yeah, it's the original. I've only, only done this one. This is kind of a bit because I wanted to have the same here. So I haven't written down the date, and this is this is many years ago. So hopefully I can find the same colors. To do this side, but I can tell this is um, polychromos and quick flip for if you haven't seen it, single sided. Then we got Animorphia, and this is one of my earlier books. So there's a few in here. See, I also, also when I found the stuff, I used to color, color it the same as on the picture. Colored. So I've done this one. I've done something in the background if it was today, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, this one is actually um, Crayola crayons, not pencils, but crayons. And there's this one. This one is a bit because I started drawing inside the um, feathers here and there's this one most of these things are old it's really old and this one 2016 i don't know why this is marked and there is uh, this one this is 2015, so this is like, this is in the big, really in the beginning, because 
I've started coloring in October, November, something like that, in um, 2015, and this is December. I think I maybe got this for a gift, maybe, Christmas gift. Huh. Then we got Color Mafia, and this is a compilation of many books, not all the books, but many. I think it's all the um, Morphia books. Yeah. Um, haven't touched this one yet. This paper is more off white than the others, I can tell. And there's uh, different artists in the or colorists in the start here. Now this is the same as um, color morphia, but this is the Norwegian version, geomorphia. And in this one, I am featured for this one. Which is fun, but I haven't colored in this one either. Then we got Alien Worlds, which is the newest one, and I have only done one in this one. That is this double page, and this was for the um, the video that. Um, Colorful country life um, posted for Kirby. Every page has been colored by different people. So, there's that one. Then we got Worlds Within Worlds. I think I only have one in here this one really like how this one turned out let me check if there's more i think there's one more actually the eye the dragon eye oh there we go and this one is completely Everything is based with um, everything here in the colors are soft pastels. And then I went over with the black and white, and that's it. That is it for this one. Then we have the actual Geomorphia. And this one is also single-sided. And I have done this one with alcohol markers, I believe. Yes. Really like this one. Then we got Mythomorphia. This the I don't think there's anything in the back here. No. Done this one. And here's the original, which was featured in the Norwegian Color Morphe book. It's much more vibrant here than in the print. Nah, is that it really? Yeah, that's it. Shame on me, I need to color more Kirby or Sans. Mythic World. Oh, I love the cover on this one. Matte. <laughs> Here is also only one. And that's 
the Nafkin from the region folklore. I actually really love how the water turned out here. With the gradient. And that is it. Then last up, Kirby, I got Doodle Invasion. I have a few in here. There's one. Done with pencils. Then there's this one is alcohol marker and pencils. Alcohol marker. Alcohol marker and other markers. Just a sneak peek for January. <laughs> Completed pages. And then there's this one. Alcohol markers and pencils. And I believe that is it. All right. Now let's move on to the next artist. Now let's move on to Eerie. But before I show you Eerie, I have one book by Jennifer Agusa I want to show you. And this is the Rhapsody in the Forest. And let's see. I've done this one with beautiful pastel colors. I think it's polychromos. And then I've done this one. And that is it, I believe. This is what I want to do, I think. We'll see. I need to get um, her other books. I, I do believe I like her other books more than uh, this one. I love this one too, but I think I love the ones uh, more. Then we got... Uh, the fairy tale book. By Eerie. Absolutely gorgeous book. I've done this one and I really enjoy coloring it and also the result. I really like the warm vibe this has. This is with Prisma colors, I believe. And that is it in this one. Then we got a uh, trace around the world. I got something here. Trace around the world book. And this is the festive one, I believe. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it. See the line. I have done this one which is Oktoberfest I don't know if there's any Norwegian inspired in here there is in the other books I haven't really looked at it if there is maybe in the back I don't know. All right. Then we got the, I think this is the history one. And here I colored one and that's the Norwegian one. Let's see. Oh, this one. Amundsen, South Pole Expedition. Really like how this one turned out. Really like the fact that I did with the Snowstorm in the background. So I really like this one. Can't wait to get through my uh, books and and do more in them. 
and then we got the trace around the world this is like country one and here is also Norway that I have to color of course when we get to it but there's uh, every continent in here it's not often Norway is included in stuff so it's, it's fun that it's in here this one this is a stavkirke or a stab I'm, I don't know if are you calling it stab church or stave because we call it stav stav kirke. I messed up the background here so I had to cover up with the lots of lots of lots of um neo color to use all right that's it in this one then we got romantic country the third tale and this is the um english copy so the the paper's super smooth and i, I don't like that so that's probably one of the reasons I barely color in it. But I have done at least one, you can see. Yeah, this one. All the commas. I think that is it. Right? Then we got the second tail. I've done more here. This is not as smooth, maybe a tiny bit rougher than the third tail. I've done this one. It's a shame that I did it on 21st of September. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's over midnight, so now I have to do 21st. <laughs> Whatever. The other one's just a VIP, maybe. Yeah, this VIP from October, I think. This is a double page spread as well. Hope at least I did write down the colors. So we're good. <laughs> Can continue on it. And then I think it's the first page, which I'm trying to, yeah. Uh, here I want to color the different houses and stuff, the same as inside the book. So I need to finish inside the book first, but I can. I mean, this is just a poster, but I guess it could be the same colors on the curtains. And I want to do the same on in the other books as well. Then we got the first tale. Um, yeah, here's one. Ink pens. This one is not as bad uh, as the third tail. Here's a VIP body color with my mom. And there's this one. I think that is it. Now let's move on to Camilla Derrico. Now I only have two books of Camilla Derrico. 
But I am planning to get the others as well. And this is the mermaids book. And I know I only done one in here, and that's this one. With watercolor. You can see the rest here. They're so cute. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> Super cute. And then we have the original pop manga. Done a few in here. This one. And this one. I think this was um Limited color colors, I think. And this one. I used to do no backgrounds back then. And this one. These are so cute. That's it. Now to Millie Murata. This is Beautiful Birds and Three Top uh, Treasures. And here I've done this one recently. A lot of birds in here. Well, it is beautiful birds, but, but there is also, you can see there's other animals in here. Then we got Wildlife Wonders. Only done one in here as well. Oh, I think this is the compilation book. I think the octopus, I believe. Or squid, I don't know the difference. Where are you? There you are. This is all glitter gel pen. See how shiny it is. <laughs> I just wanted something mindless. I uh, didn't have to think. Yeah. And that is it in this one. Uh, exotic safari, I'm not sure. Wild savannah. I don't know why we call it exotic safari <laughs> in Norwegian. Uh, this one is thinner than the previous one. But I've done this one. Remember being really proud of the water here because of all this work with the old dots. But it's not only the white dots, but in between, there's also a bunch of blue dots if you can see it and then do i have a leaf in here because i used to mark lips with uh pink yeah there's this one forever with this is from really in the beginning I've not gotten far enough one. Then we got Tropical Wonderland. Also thin paper. Ooh, I like the... Where did it go? The cacti. Done this one. Really colorful. Believe that is it. Oh no, there's one. 
really 2016. <laughs> This is really smooth paper again. Hard to work on. on. Then the last one from Millie is... Um, I never remember the English name. Animal Kingdom. And here I've done the uh, inside of the cover here. <laughs> and here, this is my first ever book. So there's a few in here. We got this one. And this one. This one. Oh. Monochromatic. There's a recent one from December. This one. Where is the giraffes? So we have basically all the first pages. This one. So you can see it's transferring because I didn't use paper in between when I colored uh, this. Lesson learned. The elephants. And this one is this my first ever adult coloring. It's this one. So where is the giraffes? I know there's giraffes in here. I have colored. Oh, there it is. There's this one. And this one is has oh it's really hard to tell, but this one has out outlines, this has cross hatching, and this has dots. And it, and I use pencils, so I have to sharpen it all the time. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't use like fine liners or something. But, oh, well, let's move on to the last artist. All right, this is Lizzie Mary Cullen, and this is um, Magical Christmas Norwegian copy. And I've done a few in here. And everything in, in here is inktense, inktense, except for a few of the first pages, which was um, uh, the color grip pencils, fiber castell color grip. They are water soluble as well. This one. I just really love using inktense in Lizzie's books. And this one. This start I was like all over the place in the book, but then I decided to do it um in order. This one is from this Christmas. Only got to do one. There's glitter in this one or gold. So here it is from like uh, the beginning and in order. And here, this is where it stops with the color grip pencils. Oh my god, it's... Um... Yep. A lot of... I did the... Uh, it used to not be like... Um, resolved in water, and I actually did go back in 2020 to do that. This is from 2015. This one as well and also these ones. And they were not 
activated so i did that in 2020 and it looks so much better i mean if you see this it was worse <laughs> and i also tried to do this one with alcohol markers but it was really patchy because it's really like this is like i don't know what to call it it's, it's glossy glossy paper then we got magical city doing this one in order as well except for this one apparently and these two we got this one these two i'm trying to be true to life with these because um there are names like here this is camden and then i just google camden it says the names everywhere baker street so i'm trying to make it true to life I use a lot of blue in this book. That all these worlds are blue, except for the ones on in the pipes. See, blue, 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 and that's the last one. I think I just started with them. Um, the beginning right away yeah then the last one i got for today is the magical journey i think this one also is in order yeah looks like it start off here I remember being really proud of this this one because I did made a mix the colors myself with incense. We've got this map. This one also mixed. This paper is really buckled because uh, there was a lot of water. I mean the. Page is really, it's like, um, almost like it's, uh, it's really soft. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Let me see. This one, I believe this is the last one. This is, um, acrylic background. Because I think I miss, messed up a lot around, so I had to just cover it. Yeah, and that's it. Some bleed through here from from the incense, but it's not much. Only this part. It's a lot of water. All right, that is it for part two of my coloring the collection and complete the pages. I will see you in the next one, just for three. Bye. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life.